Hi, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how easy it is to make a fantastic looking apple tree just like this one. So let's not waste any more time and get started. To get started you will need some very thin wire that's easy to bend and manipulate. The wire I'm using is 0.4mm copper wire. And I cut about 30 wires of 16 centimeters each. A quick bonus tip for you. If you are planning to make a lot of trees, this method of cutting takes quite a long time. So to speed up the process, you can just find something that's about the length of your tree and just wrap the wire around it. I have found that a small tile works perfect for this type of trees. When you have enough wires wrapped around the tile, you can take it off and cut off the ends and voila, there you have enough wires for the tree. For the mounting pin, I cut a 4cm piece of 1.6mm welding rod. It's important to get the wires nice and even at the one end because otherwise the tree will fall apart when you start twisting the wires. And then I put the mounting pin halfway into the wires and start twisting to create the main trunk of the tree. Next you simply need to split the wires in half, then twist until you get the desired branch length and repeat. Don't worry to split the wires all 50-50 because it will look unrealistic if the branches are all the same. You will gradually get fewer and fewer wires until you are left with two. When you are finished twisting you can cut off the excess wires leaving about 5 to 8 millimeters. When you are done cutting off the excess wires you can shape the tree by bending the wires to the desired shape. To hide all the unrealistic twisted wire, I give the tree a coat of hot glue. To make painting easier, I install the tree into a polystyrene block of foam. I give the tree a dark brown undercoat. But don't worry too much about the color of this paint because it's just an undercoat. Its main job is to prevent spots to be visible where the final coat is missing. Now for painting the detail on the tree, I mix dark green, brown and grey and randomly dry brush it over the tree. Mm -hmm. 
now for the fun part, adding the leaves. I use green spray painted wool for the first layer of leaves. At the moment I don't have spray adhesive so I will use wood glue that's applied with a brush. But if you have spray adhesive that will probably work better. Now take some small pieces of wool and apply it randomly over the tree. There's no specific way of doing this, just use your imagination as best as you can. The wool will not be visible because it will get covered with my homemade leaf mixture. To apply the leaves I first give the tree a misting of my scenic glue which is made using a 3 to 1 ratio of water to wood glue with a drop of soap. I am working on a video of how to make your own leaf mixture like this so definitely subscribe. And do your best to avoid getting leaves on the trunk of the tree, but if you do get some leaves on the trunk, it's easily removed while the glue is still wet. And don't forget to collect the excess to use on the next tree. To apply the next layer of leaves I spray the tree again with my scenic glue, however this layer of leaves is scatter material dark green from Skyl Scenics. Now I sprinkle the leaves over the tree, just be careful not to get them on the trunk. This is an apple tree so we need to add some apples. I spray the tree again with my scenic glue and then just sprinkle the apples over the tree. If I remember correctly this apples is from Woodland Scenics. And there you have it a very cheap, easy and fast way to make very realistic trees. This is everything that you will need for this type of trees. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed watching and I can't wait to reply to your comments.